Like when I can't understand this, like there's me, there's Phil in, there's Gary Moore, Robbie Bennett standing up on no lows in Jamie at the time. What have we got here? Skid Row voted Earl Hitsville's Ireland's top group of 1968. And they fellow Gary myself. I can't believe it. Then Noel Gary and myself toured in America, jamming with boys out of Led Zeppelin in the Whiskey of Gogo. Playing the film all west in San Francisco with Frank Zappa. Playing with the Almond Brothers, Iggy and the Stooges. Playing with Rod Stewart and the faces they never turned up and not the one we topped the bill. Man, what more can I say? We played all over America. We three albums out, played all over Canada. Everybody knew us. We came back, Gary left the band. Lord of Mercy, we talked no more about it. A couple of years ago, I'm looking at MTV to have a look at this guy, Sebastian Back who is the ex-lead focus of this American Skid Row, who I, I have no idea how they got to use our name. But anyway, somebody asked him a question and he said about Skid Row, and he said, well, they paid Gary Moore $35,000 for the use of the name. Now, I know for a fact this is a complete lie. So I got in touch with Sam and I asked him, and he said, no, that's the, that, as far as he was concerned, that was the truth. I told him that, that couldn't be the truth. And I was talking to the late Gary Moore not too long before that, and he told me that, John Bon Jovi rang him one day and asked him was it all right to use the name Skid Row. And Gary said it had nothing got to do with him, that he'd have to ring me, Russ Shields. Now, for some reason, John Bon Jovi never rang me. Now, what I'm saying is, I have a new Skid Row album now, and people say to me, well, you won't be able to do much with it in America because those guys have this, that, and that. I said, we have the original Skid Row. And what I can't understand is, somebody told me that John Bon Jovi, Richie Samboria, Doc McGee, pull up the money to launch an American Skid Row, knowing that we'd already played over there. Now what's bothering me is that if John Bon Jovi rang Gary Moore, I don't know whether this is true or not, but if there's anybody out there that knows John Bon Jovi or anybody belonged to him or any of his representatives, I'd like him to get in touch with me and tell me if this is true or not. Did John Bon Jovi ring Gary Moore and ask him could he use the name Skid Row? And did the late Gary Moore tell John Bon Jovi that nothing got to do with him that he'd have to ring me? Now if that story is true, even though I get the, I, I, really, I don't know John Bon Jovi at all, but I get the impression he's very respectful, very nice person, and I don't think for a minute that he would be as disrespectful to a fellow professional rock musician like myself, not to bother contacting me, because he's no perfect under no circumstances with anybody using the name Skid Row except us. Now, according to Seb Sebastian Back, he's talking about that thirty-five thousand dollars, which is completely wrong, and other people in Ireland believe it. And I told them all straight that that never happened. There's no way that happened. So basically what I'm saying is, I have a new Skid Row album ready to go. I want this sorted out for once and for all. It'd be, it'd be great to have Gary Moore playing on it, but unfortunately, uh, you know, that, that's, that's the way it goes. It'd be great to have Phil Inner on it, but unfortunately that's the way it goes. I'm still there. I wrote 95% of all the original Skid Row stuff. I card to Gary, card to Philo, and card to everybody else. I had some small part in the legacy of their perpetual and infinite music that they, they played all down the years. I taught fellow how to play. Gary said he left the band because I was getting too intrigued and I was trying to tell him what to play. So, as far as most people are concerned, I am what Skid Row is all about. So I made this, I have a new Skid Row album where I'm playing bass and guitar on it and I just have grand playing drums and I'm as good as anything out there. So I'd expect somebody from John Boy Joey's office to come along and say, there's been a misunderstanding. Something's happened. I don't know what it is. But we were in America long before them. We were playing Europe long before them. So I must be entitled to use the name Skid Row. Like you get bands like Black Sabbath 33 years later making a new album. They can, they've no problem going out and do it. In my opinion, I'm entitled to do exactly the same thing. I was there from the start. I paid my dues. So all I'm saying is, John Bon Jovi, if you'd like to contact me, I want you to represent us and explain what happened and why these guys got to use the name Skid Row without contacting me. Because when I tried to contact you, I found it impossible most of the time. And nobody here in Ireland would help me out in the legal profession to take a song and I don't understand, I don't understand her either. But here I am now, I'm ready to rock again. John, get out there, from one rock professional to another, give us a call, Bush Shields, Skid Row, Dublin, the Republic of Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah.